Yes, I'm being followed by a moon shadow, moon shadow, moon shadow. Leaping and hopping on a moon shadow. We have a sunrise coming up. This is about 7.15. I'll pan across here a stream and I'll go up to this bluff and all that's in the sky this morning is an airplane contrail near the horizon. You can see this mountain rises and by 1020 at total eclipse we're expecting the sun to be at about this angle uh, few people are awake right now in the camp wow i am so excited waited a long time for this and uh, traveled almost a thousand miles to get here last night we had some clouds in the sky it kind of scared us but they left so um, I'll bring you the next update when it's near the time, about uh, three hours from now. Actually, two hours from now, we may start to get some um, partial eclipse and then uh, hoping for that total. Talk to you soon. It's 7.20 a.m. and I don't want to bring this up into the sun, but it is blazing a white hot sun coming just up over the mountains so we're about two hours away from getting some partial stuff going on this man uh, his name is Chris has been set up for about four days now and he is an artist that takes solar images he actually has one in the Smithsonian Institute and it's a, some kind of an odd process where um, the paper is burned and then he moves the camera as the sun moves and gets another burn image and goes through an entire evolution of movement. Uh, so it's amazing. Look at the setup he has. These are all these old-fashioned shutter cameras. There's a really big one there, and you can see there's about seven or eight cameras set to go on this. And these have been in place since I've been here for several days. So each day a test has been run on So that. we have a last minute decision. We're going to leave this nice flat campground and go over here and hike up to the top of that peak. So maybe we can get even a better panoramic view of what's going on. So uh, I'll talk to you again when I get to the top. Okay, this is an update at 10.03. And it looks like we're about 65% of coverage. And what we're noticing, everything is very still. Probably has nothing to do with the eclipse more people have planted themselves somewhere to see it and we're noticing that on your skin the radiant heat of the sun seems to have disappeared it's still fairly sunny but you don't feel a warmth as the sun hits your skin so this is and i think the next shot you're going to see i'm just going to set the camera up so it takes hopefully the shadow coming over the ridge from the west so i'm going to keep panning over and you're going to see this ridge here and i'll just leave it right there is that an osprey yeah here comes an osprey osprey coming over the river feeling a little confused yes. perhaps comes another offspray very close to us. They're probably wondering 
Did we wake up that late? <laughs> oh yeah, he's coming right in at us. Well, there's a, another three of us. We have three ospreys circling us. And you can probably hear the chirping from that one. I wonder if they're reacting to this light change. It's not you guys, it's nature. A lot of bird chirping all of a sudden. Right now it's about 80% covered and we notice it's like twilight outside. We're planning, I'm just gonna let this camera run for the next 10 minutes and see if we get a shadow coming over the hills. So we're thinking it's around 90% now. And I don't know if you can see the difference in shadowing. I'll quickly pan around this valley. You can see there's plenty of light to see, but it's an odd light. It, I wouldn't compare it to twilight. It seems that there's really starker differences and the shading of grays. Just my own impression. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to pan around and again leave it pointing due west hoping that's the direction our shadow will come over this ridge. Okay, we're at 10.15 and we're we're thinking four minutes from now, you should see that shadow come over the hill. Looking at it, if that, the bottom of that eyelash will start shortening and pulling in. Wow, look at it. It's surreal. <laughs> it's surreal. All right, it looks like here Whoa. we go. Where's the shadow? It hasn't come yet because we're not in the hotel. Is that what is that? It should come over that hill. Yeah, I think that is smoke. <laughs> oh, it's getting dimmer and dimmer. There's a little bit left. It's almost gone. Let's see if you can see those beads. Jerry, right in it. Whoa. Pretty quick now. Oh, there's a star came out. Oh, there is a star. Look at that. Okay, there it is. You can hear the hoots, and we are now total. Oh, look at now. You can take the glasses off. Oh, oh, <laughs> I got to point the camera at. Look at that. You got a, got a planet above us. So it's safe to look at it. Yeah, yeah. For two minutes. Yeah, you can't see anything. Oh my gosh. The natural world at its best, huh? It is dark. Look at over there. The moon shadow? I never saw the ripples. I didn't see any. Oh my god. I think I might be able to get a picture of this. Those are all those people down at the... You can hear the hoots from down below. And I don't know if this camera can focus on this. But. It's so weird because the sun is just like a black hole shooting right through. Wow, that is just spectacular. I only see one star. 
There's looks like Venus above us. Yeah, Venus and, and then there's something over lower in the horizon on the west, southwest. You might see Mercury in there. Yeah. You can I can't see this over there, Joe. Oh yeah, yeah. There I see it. The sun is much more spectacular. It's, it's interesting. Yeah. There's like, looks like flares of light shooting at yep. twelve o'clock, two yep. o'clock, six o'clock around the sun. Wow. And it is it's dark out cooler. here. Pardon me. Noticeably cooler. Oh, here okay, it here it comes back. back. Oh my. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Is that two minutes? It went by so fast. <laughs> wow. Look now at the light. The, oh yeah. Now let's watch this. I don't know if you're seeing this, but we're coming back from totality and it's the eeriest. You can hear people cheering way down below in the campground. The strangest light. Look at that. And just look at how little sun so there's still quite a bit of eclipse oh yeah like now with it lit up outside that um, little crescent is up at about two o'clock on the sun so it it went out at about seven o'clock on the sun and came in at about two o'clock I'm surprised how bright it was around it. That was just yeah. beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah. Was I thought it would just be black. Yeah, I didn't know. Oh, no, I, I knew it was some, I but know. I didn't know how far out it would yeah. go and, and it went out. It looked, out. it looked yeah, like it went out more than the size of the sun. Yeah. It's 1037, and it's still about 80% covered, but you can see we're returning to normal here, and right away, just like after a ball game you can hear the car start to roll some people have a long ways to go today and they all think they're gonna beat the rush so our plans are to stay an additional day and wait as I'm being followed by a moon shadow moon shadow moon shadow Leaping and hopping on a moon shadow. Yes, I'm being followed by a moon shadow. Moon shadow, moon shadow. Leaping and hopping on a moon shadow. Moon shadow, moon shadow. And if I am.